and that is not something I'm into. I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. You know? <laughs> I think heavy metal my hubby might, but you know, other than that. Hello, heavy metal maidens and masters. I'm heavy metal mama, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Killstar sweater and leggings haul for you. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So before Christmas, I had put on weight because I had eaten all the cookies and it's lockdown, hasn't everyone, you know? <laughs> and I wanted some comfy, cozy jumpers and leggings to have for those days when you just don't want to think too hard about your outfit and it be too tailored. A lot of my clothing is quite tailored and I just wanted something that was really warm because it was cold here in the UK and was just comfy and cozy, but a bit stylish as well. I mean, I must admit, I wasn't really going out very much. It was locked down, it was freezing outside, but it's quite nice to have something that you can put on and feel all snugly warm in. And personally, I work night shift a lot. It's really nice to have something warm because even when it's warm in the day on a night shift, it's always cold in the lab because they turn down the heating because there's hardly anyone there. And your body knows it's the middle of the night and so your temperature control goes completely out the window. So I'm always cold. So. I ordered myself quite a number of jumpers and leggings and I'm here to review them all for you. Sorry it's taken so long, but you know, lockdown, no school, all the rest of it, but I'm here for it now. So the first one that I'm going to discuss is the Killstar Dungeness hoodie. I don't have this because I returned it. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I did um and ah about filming a try on. I had literally just worked a night shift when I tried it on. I was kind of miffed that it, it didn't work. I was kind of annoyed about it. And I just wanted to get the package back and get my money back. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Killstar Dungeness hoodie, it looks lovely. It's got a beautiful handkerchief hem. It's, uh, you know, sort of fitted in the bodice. It's lovely, snugly warm hoodie material. Great big oversized hood. Huge pocket at the front that you can stick both of your hands into with really, really long, extra long sleeves. Uh, now, Mama Goth has this, and I know Mama Goth bought this a while ago. Uh, she loves it, and I'm so chuffed for her. I'm so chuffed that hers works for her. So I went on our Killstar Addicts Anonymous group and, you know, uh, checked through the reviews, and a lot of people had said that the arms came up tight, which meant that I was gambling a bit, and I had asked, normally with Killstar, I am a, a small. Uh, I didn't want to size up to a medium because the whole point of that hoodie is to be fairly fitted. Obviously, I didn't want it to be ridiculously tight, but I wanted it to have a bit more of a fitted silhouette. That was the point of that one, was that it was something that wasn't quite so slouchy, slouchy. For one, I wanted to be warm, but I also wanted to feel kind of attractive. Uh, so I ordered the small and... It fitted me in the body. It was nice in the body. It was a little tight over the boobs, which I was kind of surprised about, but I had been eating a lot of cake then. The arms were so uncomfortably tight. Like, it, there was just absolutely no way I could keep that, that hoodie. They were so unbelievably tight. And when I tried it on, I literally just had a vest top on underneath, so there was nothing on my arms to impede the hoodie going over. And I got it so that I could put maybe a vest top on underneath or even one of those long sleeve jersey sort of scoop neck or something tops to layer. So I was gutted because that was my sort of ace in the hole. I thought that that one was going to definitely fit. It was definitely going to look amazing. I was really, truly gutted. So if you are interested in the Dungeness hoodie, it is weird material. Okay, it's 44% TR, which I think is some sort of rayon, 36% TC, God knows, 17% polyester and 3% elastane. So basically it's a kind of jersey hoodie type material with a little bit of stretch in it, but not enough stretch in it considering how tight the sleeves are. Bearing in mind that this has been around a long time and I suspect it's been restocked, I'm really surprised that Killstar haven't widened the sleeves on them because it made it unwearable. I, I mean, I literally just packed it straight back, had a bit of a grumble about it to myself and sent it straight back. 
I just don't understand why you would make something that is supposed to have that fitted silhouette like that and then make it with such ridiculous tight sleeves. Also, I mean, a lot of people are going to want to buy a hoodie to wear over stuff. I mean, that's kind of the point of a hoodie. Most hoodies you buy to wear over other things. And I couldn't even get it on, you know, with naked arms. So, yep, yeah, that one went back. I was miffed as hell, <laughs> but you know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Okay, the next item also went back. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the Noctura leggings. I got those in a small. They have a lovely shiny black print on them. I was, again, so super excited about them. They've got a nice thick waistband on the leggings. Really great bum coverage, I would assume. They were so tiny. like. I have quite meaty calves for my size. I don't deny that. I know that my calves are a little more muscular than the average size 10 person, but I've never had a problem buying trousers or anything. I couldn't get them over my calves. I couldn't get them over my calves. It was, I was, I could see, I was trying to get them on and I was like, I'm going to burst the stitching or I'm going to tear the print on it, which, I mean, then what is the hell is the point in having, you know, not cheap leggings? It's not like these are five pounds from Primark leggings. These leggings are up here at like 30 pounds. So again, I had quite the grumble about them, packaged them up and sent them back. And by that time, you know, I just got home from a night shift. I was really tired. I'd been really looking forward to opening this parcel and I was annoyed. <laughs> so really annoyed there was kind of a lot of that was going to be like Christmas presents from people and some of it was a Christmas present from me to me and yeah I was already quite miffed by then so the next item that I wanted to show you is the Helsinki knit now this item cheered me back up so a lot of people when um, somebody had asked in the Killstar group what was their favorite piece of knitwear and this one came up time and time again so this is a fine gauge lightweight knit it has ribbed sleeves so these are ribbed and then from where they join the sweater so it's kind of a square kind of a square and where they join the sweater it's ribbed from the sleeve down and when you wear it it has a handkerchief look to it but on the hanger it doesn't it looks it just looks square you'll see in the tron the shape of it it's a very cleverly engineered piece it's got an extremely wide sort of slash neckline on it it's very very long extra long they say and it's a very relaxed fit so this one is 100% viscose I got this in an extra small because again I've been looking at sizing hence why I'd gone on to the Addicts Anonymous group all the details are down in the description of all the Facebook groups and by the way if you would like to join us we'd love to have you you know a lot of people had said that you know they certainly could have sized down so I just got the extra small. I was umming and ahhing, do I get the extra small or the small? I got the extra small and I'm really glad I did. If I'd got the small, it would have just hung off me. It's definitely relaxed fit on me. It's a lovely one to wear. It's warm, but cool at the same time. You can wear this autumn, winter and spring. You'd be too hot in the summer, but you know, it's definitely gonna do you for three seasons. I find though the, that because these sleeves, if you look, so this is the shoulder and then the, I suppose like the bottom of the sleeve starts here. It's quite a dropped sleeve as it were. I, I don't really know how else to describe it. It makes it quite difficult to wear something over the top. Um, I have a poncho that I've got from Punk Grave. That looks great over the top of it because it just adds a bit more and you don't have to worry about there being all this volume under the sleeve. Obviously this necessary evil top, I have the same problem. Um, but you know, it it's great with my assassin's hood, but it, you do still get this weird bulk under your arm underarms because it sort of pulls this up, which therefore also means that when you put a, like a hoodie on or something like that, it actually pulls up the hemline. So I have a rule where I will wear leggings as long as whatever I am wearing over the top covers my crotch. But as soon as I put a hoodie on or something, it exposes my crotch. So, you know, you just have to be a bit careful about what you choose. Basically, you want a cloak or a poncho or something that doesn't have a lot of volume under the uh, under the underarms to wear over it. But you can just wear, I wear like a slash neck black cotton Primark top 
underneath it and then I don't need necessarily to wear a hoodie over the top of it because that keeps me warm. I am definitely a fan of layering and it does look absolutely stunning. I get so many compliments on it. It's just such a lovely, soft, lightweight knit as well. Really, really like this one. I'm really glad that I got it. This is definitely an older one. I remember seeing this a few years ago and I can see why it's so popular. That was the uh, Killstar Helsinki knit. Okay, so the next pair of leggings, the first pair of leggings that I actually kept, these are the Killstar Necro Nancy leggings. So these are quite similar to the Nocturia leggings, Noctura leggings, uh, but these have got what I would call like a matte black print on them, whereas the Noctura leggings, it was more of a shiny black print. I was gutted, I was so excited about them and I thought the print was my favourite out of all of them. But, you know, you can't help it, can you? So this has got... Baphomet on it, we've got um, pentagrams, we've got leviathan crosses, we've got faces of the moon, lots and lots of detail on. Again, this lovely thick waistband. These are super comfortable, like really, really super comfortable. Again, I was a little bit concerned about the tightness on the calves, but they were, I could get them on, you know, whereas the other ones, I couldn't get them on. So these ones, that it's almost like the first wear, the first 10 minutes after you wash them, they are a little tight on my calves. And then within 10 minutes, the cotton's just stretched enough and it's fine. And I'm not worried about the print going on this. I can, you know, I can, obviously, if you do stretch it, it does, you, do, you know, you don't want to yank it because it will peel apart the print. This print isn't going to last forever, but I've washed these probably 15, 20 times at least since I've had them and the print has stood up very well. So I'm quite pleased. It's not like Heavy Metal Hubby's Rob Zombie hockey shirt. That, the print is pretty much gone, which is such a shame, such a shame. But no, I'm very, very pleased with the print and stuff. These are extremely comfortable. The cotton is lovely and soft. They're 95% cotton, 5% elastane. In fact, all the leggings are 95% cotton, 5% elastane. They hold your bum in well. I really like this thick, sort of doubled over waistband. It, it holds, where I had the C-section after having both my children, I have what I call the little mummy overhang, which is you know, apparently particular thing of C-sections and it just holds it in nicely. It just feels a little more secure, which I really like. These, I really like the cut of all of these leggings. I'm very impressed with them and they are extremely comfortable. So yes, I definitely, definitely love these Necro Nancy leggings. I'm pretty sure Kate has some of them and, you know, she's usually got a deal going on somewhere or other. And of course you can use the code that I will put at the end of this video for Kate's clothing because you know I've always got a code for you or down in the description box if you're just going to cheat and look down there. <laughs> this is the Empress Batwing sweater. So it is quite similar feeling to the Helsinki knit, but this one is a slightly different material. So this is, again, lightweight fine gauge knit. This is 52% viscose, 22% nylon, 26% PBT. I had to Google it. It turns out it's polybutylene tetraphthalate, which is basically a sort of plastic polymer. So um, it washes really well, really, really well. In fact, they all wash really, really well. I'm very impressed with, with how well they've washed and everything. So this is definitely more of a bat wing. I mean, it's similar shape to the Helsinki, but this is definitely wider and gives it a more bat wing. And obviously it has this cowl neck. This, however, under the arms, it is a split. I thought it was going to be like the Helsinki in that you've got the arms attached and then this is just joined together. Oh, no, no, no. This is a full split under the arms, which means when I wear this, I always wear a vest top underneath it because, or a, you know, a, a scoop neck top or something, because if you put your arms up in the air and then the wind blows, there is a potential for your people to be able to see up your top. And that is not something I'm into. I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. You know? 
I think heavy metal my hubby might, but you know, <laughs> other than that, I don't want people being able to see up my top. I don't feel comfortable. And also, if it's cold, I don't want the wind blowing up there. You know, the whole point is I bought jumpers to be warm. I don't want it to be cold. So I would definitely recommend wearing just a cheap vest top or something like that underneath. Obviously, it doesn't matter what it looks like because you're not going to see any of it. You just want something black to wear underneath. This is one of those size X2. So this is an extra small to medium that I got. You know, I think it's basically an extra small to medium or a large to double XL, something like that. It's very, very nice, but I think I prefer the Helsinki just from practicality because you don't have to worry about the sides coming up. But both of them look really nice. And obviously, if it's really cold, having the cowl neck on this is lovely because it keeps your neck really warm. It just it's lovely. It's it's really, really flattering. It looks great it's definitely more of a handkerchief hem on this one than the Helsinki that's why I like them though they're all similar but different so you know depending on how you're feeling that day depends on what you you know how you can wear it again though this one because of the back wing sleeves you can't easily wear a hoodie or something underneath it and it does definitely pull up the front if if you put on a hoodie or something like that but again just wear a poncho cloak you know because we all have cloaks, because you know, we're all goth here. We all clearly have our cloaks. So the next one that I want to talk about is the Haxa leggings. I apologise, I have worn these. This is the problem. These are so become some of my wardrobe staples and so trying to have all of them clean and dry at the same time has basically been impossible. So I wore these yesterday, so I thought before I put them in the wash, I will film. So I apologise if there's cat hair. So they have these gorgeous snake or serpent print on them and then these pentagram, well, so hexagrams on the knees. They're really, really cool. Again, a little tight on the calves. But like I said, they quite quickly ease up. Again, the print has done very well. I'm very impressed with how many times that I've washed this print and there's almost no cracking at all, no fading. So I'm pretty impressed with the print. I mean, I'm sure it won't last forever, but you know, considering how many times I've worn and washed, I'm pretty impressed with it. Again, it's got the nice thick waistband. They're just very comfortable leggings. They hold you in in the right places. They're comfortable, but they're not too baggy because that can be uncomfortable in itself and it doesn't look as nice if they're a bit baggy but no really really nice leggings again really really pleased with them i got these in a small and they are again 95 percent cotton and five percent elastane right so now we're moving on to the slightly wider gauge knit jumpers these are slightly more heavy duty knit um as it were these are definitely for those colder days um but i also like the fact that it's a much chunkier cable on it so those are very fine gauge they almost look like jersey from far away whereas these are very clearly knitted so this is the karma knit sweater it is 55 percent acrylic and 45 percent cotton this is definitely a wider chunkier knit than the two previous uh, sweaters that is a definitely a more open weave as well so I do tend to wear a vest top or something underneath this partly to keep warm because the wind blows through it partly to make sure nobody can see through it and also because we've got these distressed portions here etc and there's another one at the back is to make sure that I'm not accused of being inappropriate at work <laughs> so <laughs> I really like this one again it's got these sort of dropped low bat wing sleeves the sleeve is very similar to the Helsinki and that you've got this lovely ribbed fabric here. And then it's got this beautiful handkerchief hem at the bottom. And of course, these lovely distressed pieces. Now, I do really like the distressed pieces. I'm not sure if they love me. I keep getting them caught on door handles, on the drawers, in the kitchen, on my New Rock keychain whenever I've got my flipping handbag on. At some point, I'm going to end up ripping a hole in them. I think I've already made a bigger rip there than it was originally there because it doesn't look the same as the rest of it. So I don't know how long it will fare, you know, with clumsy old me. 
but hey what can you do you know it's a cool jumper i really like it it's definitely warmer than the other two so it's definitely nice to wear when you're having a really snuggly day and you just want to be really really snuggly warm i like to wear it with like i said either a vest top underneath or a scoop necked top or something like that or a slash neck top that looks really really great um i really really like this jumper so that is the karma knit sweater Again, all of these tops look fantastic with a, a big statement necklace and a hat, you know, a pair of leggings, pair of killer boots. They look fantastic. Okay, so the last pair of leggings, I must admit, I, I, when I ordered these, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure at all. So I ordered the Haxa leggings that I showed you before and these, the two-faced witch leggings from Kate's Clothing as opposed to Killstar. Uh, because I don't, I think Kate's Clothing had a better deal than Killstar. Kate's Clothing normally does have a better deal than Killstar. But I think some of the knits weren't available on Kate's, which is why I bought them from Killstar. I don't like buying direct from Killstar. I'd much rather buy from Kate because you spend the same amount of money and Kate's just got such better customer service. But occasionally your hands are tied. So these are the Too Faced Witch leggings. So I got these in a small. Now, these are a bit different. I was at umming and ahhing because they're not completely black. But then I was like, come on, Laura, they're, they're grey, you know. <laughs> so I love the fact that one leg is black and one leg is this mottled grey and then you've got this sort of blacky grey print it's kind of shiny print on them uh, so we've got a baphomet here on the right knee and then a leviathan cross a bit further up on the crotch I really like them I think when I bought them though the print was definitely black and now it's gone a slightly greyish colour that's fine but obviously if you buy them and want them to stay black i think you would have to wash them cold i wash everything at 40 degrees if it doesn't survive it tough really because i've got enough washing to do without having to wash things at stupid temperatures and blah 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 it's bad enough having to separate out the kids whites the print is nice and thick it hasn't cracked or anything like that i'm you know very impressed actually with the quality of the print Again, they're a little tighter on the calves than I would have liked to begin with, but they definitely loosen up quite quickly. Again, I got them on my usual small. These don't have the big, thick, wide waistband. They're, I mean, it's definitely thicker than your average pair of leggings. If you bought these from Primark, the, the waistband would be to here, whereas this is at least an inch. I mean, I mean we're talking at, at least four or five centimetres, so probably two inches almost. Um, they're very cool very cool i really like them i think they're they're just something a bit different i wouldn't wear them with any other colors though it would have to just be a completely black item but i really like them they just bring something a little bit different to the party when you've got you know a fairly plain jumper or something on so actually i think out of all of them these oh are they my favorite oh i don't know this is the thing you could ask me on any day and i change my mind but i do i'm really really pleased with these really really like these leggings yeah Pick yourself up a pair. So this is the Sweet Six Knit Sweater in an extra small. This one is 100% polyester. You have this huge cowl neck here. Again, it's a very chunky, wide knit um, with lots of little air holes in them etc so again i tend to wear a vest top underneath them and again it has this distressed detail all down the front again this is another one that just keeps getting caught on door handles etc but what are you going to do this one is super snugly warm the sleeves on this thing go on for days uh, and it's got lovely cuffs as well so you get this lovely voluminous cuff the only problem is it does make it a little bit difficult then to get a coat or something on underneath. I tend to wear my assassin's hood over the top of it, mainly because not much else fits on, because most of my coats don't have any stretch to them. The only one that does definitely work over the top is actually my Poison Industries coat because it has got fluted bell sleeves, so that works fine. Just something to be aware of if you're getting it for layering is that you need to make sure that whatever you're going to layer over the top of it 
has nice big wide sleeves. This one is super duper long on me. It does have a split, but only a little split um, that for me is sort of just at the bottom of my hip. I love this one. This one is snuggly warm, although a couple of times I've ended up getting way too hot in it, if anything. This is definitely a winter cosy jumper, but it's definitely something that you would want to snuggle up in. It's lovely. Really, really, really pleased with this jumper as well. So that is all my Killstar sweaters and leggings. What did you think of this haul? Do you have any of these items? If you do, what are your thoughts on them? I would love to hear what you have to say down in the comments. Let's have a, a conflab about it. How do you feel about Killstar sizing, particularly for leggings? Because, you know, I've got some leggings that they're all the same size and yet some of them fit and others didn't fit. So I'd love to have that discussion with you also down in the comments. So remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of those things that have come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.